Right, yeah, this is the, the time of year when, you know, severe storms will, will start to ramp up. We get to April, we get to May um, is especially, and, and we have some some big ups and downs. I mean, this this week, I think you look at the forecast at the end of this week, and it's an example of how uh, how quickly our, our weather can change because we have some 40s, we have mm -hmm. some 60s in the forecast, some thunderstorms and snow all, all in the forecast. In just a few days. Yes, so, you know, a lot to, uh, to, to prepare for this week looking ahead, but today is a pretty nice day. It's going to be a quiet weather day today before the wind starts to pick at, back up, and we're going to get several windy days going forward the rest of the weekend of the weekend. So this morning is going to be a sunny start once the sun does come up. It is a colder start. It's uh, in the upper 20s right now. It's going to be about 28, 29 degrees as you step outside. So grab a heavy coat. Also have your sunglasses for the morning drive. Once the sun does rise, it's going to be a bright morning. This afternoon becoming partly cloudy, but 50 degrees the high. That's a, uh, a nice, comfortable afternoon. The wind's not going to be too strong today, just around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy, dropping to 32 degrees. Still the weather staying quiet tonight. Tomorrow, the wind will start to increase throughout the morning. Clouds increasing tomorrow morning as well. Chance of rain and snow going up after 11 a.m. through the afternoon as a cold front swings through. Wind gusts over 30 miles per hour are going to be possible tomorrow. So it is going to be a breezy day and it's going to be wet as we get through about lunch hour through the afternoon, winding down by about the time for the evening commute for tomorrow. So uh, wet day tomorrow. Temperatures will still be in the 40s. So you're talking about some wet snowflakes mixing in with rain, but that's not going to be sticking to the roads. Then we get to Friday. I'm going to fast forward to Friday. That's our next chance of rain. A warm front lifts back north of us and it's going to be warm. It's going to get windy later in the day. Friday temperatures climbing into the 60s Friday afternoon, but wind gusts may be over 40 miles per hour Friday night into Saturday morning. Some widespread rain overnight might even be a few thunderstorms Friday night. Then we get to Saturday and it's going to be a warm, windy morning with falling temperatures in the afternoon. And on the back side of this low pressure system, cold air is funneling in and there's still some moisture hanging around where we could see some snowflakes as we get into Saturday evening and Saturday night. So uh, wet rainy pattern as we get to the end of the week and the winds are going to be picking up as well. The severe threat looks to say southwest of us, but this is around Friday, Friday evening. Threat of severe storms across Illinois, parts of uh, Missouri, and that's all staying southwest. Of, uh, of Michigan, at least for now. Um, but wind gusts, as I mentioned, maybe over 40 miles per hour Friday afternoon. So uh, we get to Friday high 63, real windy Friday night, still windy Saturday morning. And I have the low around 48 and the high around 49 because temperatures are going to be around 49 in the morning, but dropping through the 30s come Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday, a uh, quieter day, but colder, low 28 and high 48.